All right, so what's going on? Welcome back to another Just Absolutely Boxing Podcast, episode 95. I'm Combo Breaker 99. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boxing P. And it's fight weekend. It's fight week. It's yeah, a big one, man. man. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy for me. Uh, Friday, that's my birthday. And then... Happy early birthday. Just, thank, thank you, thank you, sir. From the jazz man. squad. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then man. Saturday, we got Spence and Garcia. So, I mean, I'm... Oh, and then my drone came today. You know, my Mavic Air came today, so I'm looking to get involved in that. So I'm, 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 I'm crazy right now. Like, oh yeah, you, you, you gonna got loaded. Plus yeah, you got the, I, plus you got the Spence Guard see it to this for us, right? You know, yeah, nah, you got, oh, I, I, I got, I got them for you, man. And <laughs> I got them. That nah. would have been a lovely birthday present, oh. but I'm gonna be happy just watching it for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, cause like you know going into this one, man, it's like we was talking about before when it was first announced, like. This ain't really the fight that we want to see. Like, it's not the most significant fight, like the defining fight for either of these guys. But it's that fight that, like you always say, man, it's interesting, man. Yeah, it's just, you know, and I was just about to say, a fight can be made interesting, too, ain't right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, sometimes you, it's a wild card, you know, two guys you never really thought about. And then, you know, the fight got time to build up and everything. And by the time... It comes to fight night. You could be interested. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <clears throat> kind of how this one played out. Like, the more and more they start getting into the build-up to the fight, I mean, I, I didn't expect it to be as big as it is. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like on the major major status of a fight. You know, everybody Shoot. talking about it. Yeah, the, like, the closer we've been getting to it, I mean, like, a couple months back, everybody was saying that it was like a mismatch. But yeah. shoot, as, as it got closer, Mexican fans, yeah. black fans, American yeah. fans of all kinds, you know, uh, uh, what's his name? The the Dallas Cowboys. Like, yeah, it's Cowboys Stadium. That's yeah, gonna be crazy. He's really know? pushing it. I've been seeing more and more YouTube ads. Like when I'm watching videos, like stuff that don't even pertain to boxing, it's showing it. You know, showing so I mean, it, yeah. they're really pushing it. They're and really pushing this man. It, is it sold out? Is I ain't thing? sure. Yeah, I'm but sure. It, I mean, it, it's big. So when it all comes down to it, people just want to see a good fight. Yeah. And when you got two good fighters, <clears> it's gonna make for a good fight. Hopefully, you know. So. Just kind of going into this fight, you know, we was coming up with some points for this. You know, I got a few questions. I know you got a few questions that yeah. we can just kind of go in on. But, like, my number one thing to kind of touch on about this fight is, do you really feel like Mikey deserves this as his first fight at welterweight? Um, in terms of, you know, status and the rankings, no. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, in terms of being uh, a solid guy and um, being able to get Earl's attention and accept and accept the fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, but as far as this being the next fight in line for either guy, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when you say deserve... Um, it's hard to say that when you say deserve. You know guess, what I mean? Yeah, because okay. deserve, guess, you know, okay. he's a good guy. I mean, he put in the work. I mean, you know, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's kind know. of a harsh word, I yeah. guess, when I say it like that. I guess in, like, boxing terms, I'm always <laughs> thinking of, like, okay, Thurman, you did this and that. Now it's time for you to fight Spence. You know, uh, Crawford, you got past so-and-so, two or three guys. That's the fight you deserve next. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and, Deontay and, and, Wilder, yeah. you beat so and so. You deserve the Joshua absolutely. fight. You know, and, and I get that. You know, when, yeah. when in terms of like being saying deserve or whatever, I get it. Um, but it's just like, um, I mean, you got to say no in those terms, eh? mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to say no, no. He he wasn't in contention. He wasn't even in the mix at 147 to be next in line or whatever. But you know, like I say talk his way into the fight i mean maybe he does deserve it i don't know you know what i mean yeah yeah because uh deserve on that level i'd say no but deserve on the level of having the balls to do it all day you know i mean because think about that yeah think about it i mean the reason the fight is really taking place is because nobody else wants to fight earl Mm -hmm. so it's it's not like mikey's stepping in front of guys Everybody took a step yeah, back. Yeah, they took a step to the side, and yeah. the line was empty, and he yeah. just walked up to he the front. To be, right. So, right. you know, I mean, that's why I say in those terms, I mean, yeah, he deserved it. I mean, nobody else wanted it. He, he wants it. I mean, yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I'm all about, good fights. Especially whenever he has credentials, because I know, like we say, we all feel like, oh, it's a mismatch going in, but he's a guy that 
he's undefeated as well, you know, uh, multiple division world champions. So once you go down that list, it's all there, you know, it's all like, oh, yeah, you, you do check out to take on a champion. You know, if you yeah. feel like this is what you can do, we can't stop you. The, no. the, the, the only mismatch that, that where well, the biggest thing when people say mismatch is the size and the two weight classes. Yeah. If you go to the resume, some people could say the paperwork is a mismatch the other way around. On experience. Level, yeah, right. on the other way around. So, you know, only mismatch to, to, to most of the fans is the size in this fight, I think. You know what I mean? They, mm -hmm. they, I mean, Earl Spencer is just turned into like you say literally a boogeyman he's a I mean nice laid back he chill dude but they got this big monster aura about him you know what mm -hmm. i mean they make it seem like he be talking mad, you know and that mm -hmm. ain't his personality at all but um they definitely making him larger than life right now yeah because you know just going back a lot of the stories you hear in sparring and you know just what he do to his opponents and just some of his past opponents were saying leading up to this fight like you know mikey don't stand a chance you know it kind of continues to build that aura around him. You know what I mean? That that monster aura. Yeah, like like to an extent for me, Ant, because when somebody broke it down, like, well, um, it took him five or six rounds to do Lamont Peterson. It took him five or six rounds to do Algeria. It took him five or six rounds to do Bondi. It took him five or six rounds to do a lot of guys that, to me, Mikey is a better fighter than. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the math don't always work out like that. But because what it was, a fighter made a statement that Mikey might get knocked out in one round. And we, I'm like, mm -hmm. and, the, and the person he made it to was like, well, dang, that's person. He doesn't know boxing if he think that's going to happen mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. And if you think about it, I mean, Mikey with the experience, the chances that he going to get knocked out in the first round are slim. You know what I'm saying? I mean, first of all, Earl, punch, Earl Spence is not a one punch knockout artist. You know, he goes to the body, accumulate, you know, he he's dropping bombs, but you know, he lands a few on you to get you out of there. And um, you know, Mikey is an experienced guy, experienced fighter, you know, he he he, he probably wouldn't fall into a trap like that in one round, mm -hmm. and I gotta give him more than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely give him more than that, because like <clears throat> for me, when I think going back to the thing where people call him the boogeyman the monster, I guess like in no way is he like a Tyson thing, you know, no, he's knocking no, people out. Like no, for me, no, the no. monster side of him for me is like when you can beat beat the hell out of a guy and just make him different. You know, you take something away from him, not necessarily knock him out cold, but I feel like Spence has that that ability to change fighters. You know what I mean? You know, whatever he when he's able to beat somebody up so bad that they're almost not the same fighter. You know what I mean? Like. A lot of people said Trinidad did that to Fernando Vargas, you know, and he took him into deep waters into a war where that fighter, he's not the same anymore. Because if you look at some of the guys on the resume of Crawford, I mean, of uh, Errol Spence, you don't really see them anymore, you know. So that's that's kind of where I'm seeing like that aura is him being that boogeyman, you know, definitely not a guy. I don't feel like he's going to go in there and lay him out cold, you know. Yeah, I mean. For me, person, like I always said, I still need to see some some more greatness out of Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes people get the boogeyman tag just because. You know, I think the greatness and the boogeyman. I mean, you can. <clears throat> I think you can hold the greatness tag separate from the boogeyman tag. Like Kovalev, he had the boogeyman tag. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. because he was doing the same mm -hmm. thing. You know, uh, just beating guys up and not making them the same anymore. But like the greatness tag was whenever you know Andre Ward moved up tested itself that's and, great you know and, and, exactly. and you know put the boogeyman out of commission because that's what i say the boogeyman is just a term that's not a fact that's not that's not a fact that's just a mm -hmm. term that's loosely yeah. used i mean he's a boogeyman if he's a mm -hmm. boogeyman andre ward wouldn't have went up to weight classes to fight somebody mm -hmm. that's really considered a boogeyman it's just a term and sometimes i mean paul williams was considered the boogeyman but that's different. He fought in three different weight classes. Some of these guys, I mean, being called the boogeyman, I mean, same with Triple G. People call him the boogeyman, but at 160, I mean, you, you can move around to get other fights, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's I think it's a, a, a loose term or whatever, and people put into it what, what they want, you know what I mean? Because 
I've seen some boogeyman get the sheep pulled off of them, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, in the yeah, fight game, definitely, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm just saying, it's it's not nothing to take stock in. I hope a fighter, oh, they call me the boogeyman or that. That don't really mean nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? I um, mean, yeah, it's like... It's false. For me, you know, you know I, I'm sure if it was Errol Spence, if you are a fighter in your division, you really wouldn't want to be known as that because that means it's like, you ain't really being tested because nobody wants, wants to, to fight, fight you. you. But yeah. if you already greatness and you've been moving up and down and doing this and that, that speaks for itself. Yeah, that's yeah, undeniable. Boogeyman kind of goes in the category of bully. Yeah. You know what I mean? People put that term on you until that one guy comes along and, you know, shuts it down. I, abs- I absolutely agree. I couldn't have said no about him. But yeah, you man, like, b- 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 with the deal with uh, Mikey, like, taking this fight, like you were saying, like, going back to the experience thing. And he was, in, you know, in the face, doing the face to face. Do you really feel like he's confident in himself when he was speaking on this stuff? Like, hey, I'm, I, 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 I got all the tools to beat him. You know, I got better time and I got better power, better speed. I mean, yeah. When, when, when I, when I reassessed it, I mean, I do because those things are kind of facts. I mean, he is a four time world champion. Earl Spence is not. You know what I'm saying? So, those things you can't. Anybody is just not a four-time world champion. So I, I do believe he's confident in his self. But that don't mean you, you, you win the fight. You know what I'm saying? I do right. believe he's confident in what he can do. And I think, like he said, it's some stuff that I want to show the world that I can do yeah. that you guys haven't seen yet. But, you know, if it, we, we, we can't take the fact that, you know, he is a four-time world. This will be his fifth world title mm-hmm. if he can pull pull this off, which... You know, people, nobody can deny. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What What do you think it is that he feels Earl, Earl can pull out of him if he feels like he is better than Earl? Because um, he's, you know, he says, Earl, Earl, Spence is a um, mirror image of me, but I do everything a little bit better. So I'm a better fighter. So what kind of greatness is he going to pull out of him if he's already better than him? That, that, they kind of confuse me with that. Him and Earl Spence with that mirror thing because they don't. Well, Earl like didn't him. say Earl. Uh, well, Mike Earl is, said, "I see some of you in me." Yeah, you know, he I didn't know. say the mirror, but he said, "I see some of you in me." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "I mean, we mean fighting style, personality." Because mm-hmm. I really don't see none of either one of them in each other. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Um, because when Mikey kept saying that, I was like, "Hmm." But then he said, "I'm a little bit better." You know, I do everything the same, but just a little bit better. But I mean, like, okay, if you're better, then why do you feel like? He's a, what what greatness will he pull out? Okay. You know that's kind of the question. Well, well one good one thing is Mikey not good at talking junk. That's not his. That's not his realm. First <laughs> off, you know what I'm saying. That's that's yeah. not his realm. Yeah. First off, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And then you know, um, to me, like he was just some stuff was just conversation to, to, to fill up the time or whatever because mm-hmm. he kept saying the same thing, coming back to the same thing. Then mm-hmm. at the end, they got in a, a little childish tit for tat. I'm gonna punch you. You know all this stuff mm-hmm. or whatever, but. Uh, I think both of them was kind of struggling to feel like it, but Earl Spence is not a talker. He's not guy. a talker, right. Mikey right. Garcia, mm-hmm. what he's trying to promote, that's not him, you know, yeah. being the t- trash mm-hmm. talker or whatever. So it, it was it was a little uncomfortable to watch it because it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't really flowing like that. But I really think that he was just, sometimes he was at a loss for words and just really didn't know what to say. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I really think, you know what I mean? Mikey Garcia anyway. Yeah, I feel like, he was really coming out of his character to to try his hardest to think of something. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because you know, Arrow it, it, it was just like he bringing the same energy, but him he was just say, yeah, same I as always. Do what I do, you know what I'm saying? It was just. <laughs> but I just kind of feel like Mikey was eating up some time, maybe to just like because that's why I was getting that vibe because he was just like maybe trying to convince himself, you know, because he kept on saying. I mean, he was oh, reaching, but like I'm I said, worried. I'm not, you know. It, it more so was like to keep the conversation going because I mean they probably had to edit that thing up because it probably yeah. was moments of time where they was just sitting yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> telling yeah. you, man, I'm telling you, yeah. like the prime was chopped up to make yeah. it even look as smooth as it right. did because, like I say, I mean you do got two people. All right, now, Mikey, we need you to really get into it this time. Really do mm-hmm. it this time. All right, action. I'm a mirror image. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. um <laughs> You never know with TV, but like like I said, we do know both of their personalities, and mm-hmm. they they not vocal or big trash talking guys. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, because like when they did it face to face, it was just like for me, I was getting that. Um, 
I couldn't I couldn't get that. I couldn't get no bad energy energy from either one of them. Like they yeah. hated each other. You yeah. know what I mean? It was yeah. just like they just want to get to the ring and do what yeah. they do. And I couldn't really pull anything from from it to like tee to either way. Both guys mm-hmm. just seem like I mean they saying the same thing. I'm gonna win. I got this. I'm gonna do mm-hmm. this. I mean both speaking facts from their side of the story. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, that's the thing. It, 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 it's one of these fights that you could just come at it a million different ways and it's just all like I say keep saying it's going to boil down to Saturday night you know what I mean we could do I mean because it's out there a million different perspectives like I say you know it is you know I would I would say Earl Spence is leading in the in the poll Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying but you know like you say the closer the fight gets the tides are turning you know today they both got big Ovations when they you yeah. know came in, so it's yeah. not like you know, what one one guy's really bigger than the other. But um, I I just don't know, man. I mean that's that's why I, months ago when we was talking about. I was like, and it's exciting because I just don't know. Mm-hmm. What, this is crazy. It's yeah. just crazy. I know for me, it's always like when the when the fight is so many months out. I'm always like, oh yeah, it's one sided and this and that. But as we get closer and closer, just wondering about those little factors that you can't put in the math. Yeah. That's whenever it's always kind of like somebody might be off, you know, somebody might be feel flat, kind of like Teron Willie said he yeah. was off. Like I had yeah. Teron Willie winning that yeah. Usman fight, yeah. but you see what happened there. Absolutely. He couldn't even perform, and, you know. And, and, and anything that happened that night, that's what I say. Like, and, you know, if you on the team, it's one thing. Oh, I, I had a bad night. You got 12 other people to back we you up and fight in a yeah. bad night. It's, that's all it's, you. It's on you. You yeah. know, think, and, and we saying the bad night, okay. You can have an injury or you can not be feeling. I mean, your girlfriend could have cheated on you last night. That's a bad night. You know what right. I'm saying? I mean, right. you might want to go beat the crap out of somebody, but you might want to cry too. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's just it, it, these people are still human and still go through everything humans go through. You know what I'm saying? You know, and um, like Mike said, the one time he was he had a venereal disease in the ring. He burned in the ring. I mean, mm-hmm. that's, I mean, you just don't know. You I just don't right. know. That's a, you know, and they have to have that ability to block all that block stuff. Block all that stuff, pain, you know? personal stuff. Yeah. You know, all the stuff that they gotta just, like you say, try to block out. Try to. Try. You know what I mean, Buster Douglas' mother died. How do you? How do you? How do transition you, that yeah. energy into a fight? You and know. How do you block that and not think of not well up and not get emotional in the fight? I mean, that's that's amazing that he was able to do that, and fighters are able to, you know, compart- compartmentalize stuff like that you yeah. know what I mean mm-hmm. kind of put it off into the side yeah, put it off Let's to the get side this, for 12 yeah, rounds you know 12 what I'm saying rounds, right. you know. <clears throat> that's why man like every time like I gotta tell you more and more we get closer like I start thinking of those little things you know yeah. like when we get to yeah. this fight I'm feeling like oh yeah it's one sided but I'm like oh man this might be the night Mikey is using the footwork <laughs> or something you know I mean it'd be different than if we wasn't talking about a full time world champion mm-hmm. I mean we, we are talking about a, a skilled guy you know what I'm saying? I mean, mm-hmm. I, w- I wouldn't say top five, but he is a skilled guy. You know, yeah. like I say, he does nothing special, but does everything good. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And that, that I mean, he's been spelling recipe for disaster for a lot of fighters, man. I mean, you got Brona, you got Easter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. mean, these are slick fighters. These are guys who had some power. You yeah, know the, what I'm saying? The, 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 the kid at 140, the Lippinitz, the one everybody yeah, thought would be yeah. the next thing, and he like shh, took that kid to school. Man. So, you know, we are seeing, um, and that's what I'm saying, that if you look at it from that perspective, people could be saying, you know, I mean, Earl Spence really don't match up because the name's not really the same. I mean, Mikey definitely got better names. I mean, Earl Spence got Kel Brook. Mm-hmm. He got an old Lamar Peterson. Right. Outside of that, what 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 world class people were really there? No, I mean, no disrespect to nobody, but I'm just saying. I mean, that's what I'm just saying. We do got to recognize what Mikey is bringing to the table. It's not like. You know, it's just a bum coming mm-hmm. up from two two weight classes to take on Earl Spence. It is it is a worthy adversary. You know what I'm saying for for different reasons or whatever. But you know, is that the, is that enough 
to pull a win out though, eh? That's what I'm. You know what I mean? That, yeah, that's what I'm thinking because we was talking <clears throat> about the other day. Mikey has the ability to do a little bit of everything and do it good, like a basic fighter. But you know, he does everything. You know, down the line. You know, cross cross eye, cross the T's, dot the eyes, whatever. But like, does he have enough to step out of that box and really do something like? When we think of Terrence Crawford, he's moving up the same way, but we don't say it's a mismatch with him and yeah. him and Aerosmith. We say yeah. that's 50-50, but yeah. why why are we saying Mikey Garcia fight? This is uh this is a you know, this, this is it's gonna be a knockout for Aerosmith. You know, why are we saying that? But the the, the one good thing is, is like you say, can Mikey do that? Can Mikey level up? If he can, we'll see in this fight because this fight is going to take every level he got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, th- th- those are the, that th- th- that's that factor too, Ant. That some some matches bring out the best in each other. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And, yeah. And and, and um, it. I think this is a fight that you know Mikey might get hurt. Mikey might get knocked down, but. That might be enough to make him go in them places that you know we haven't seen yet. You know what I'm saying? We haven't seen yet. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't see Mikey just taking the punch and folding. You know no, what I'm saying? No, I definitely don't like. You know? Yeah, I definitely feel the thing that's kept his basic skills together was his determination in that yeah, heart. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, you can't buy that. You yeah, can't you train can't buy for that. that. You yeah, because everybody can be taught how to throw that jab and stuff, but it's like. Being able to throw it after you got rocked or something, after you know, you, got rocked, you, know, you know, or know being able to counter, you know, just the little things and seeing things for yourself. That's why I'm wondering, like, you know, everybody's feeling like this is going to be this one sided fight. But it's like, OK, uh, does Mikey have that thing, man? Does he have that thing, you know, but to to make it? Let me ask you this. Man. Does Will Earl be in the southpaw? Factor in any type of way. Will it factor in? Factor I think in. so. Yeah. To to benefit or to. I think the benefit. I think it'll Smith. benefit. I think it'll benefit her. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a. I think it's a benefit because first off, you know, not only are you moving up to fight your first fight against a champion at welterweight, but you fighting a a, a south a southpaw. You know, you're not fighting a conventional fighter. You know. Yeah. But see, th- th- that's true. That's very true. But that's one time the experience might come in because have been have have have, have been experienced and been in there with Southpaw before. It's not as shocking to me as maybe you never have been in there with a Southpaw. I don't know how many Southpaws he's faced or whatever. But those are little things where the experience mm-hmm. might come come into play. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Might not. I don't know. Yeah. I just brought it up because Earl Spence is a Southpaw, which. Southpaws mm-hmm. do give a lot of guys difficulty. Yeah. I, I I don't know, you know what I'm saying, right. but um, it's just the thing that you know, a guy with experience, he might have faced Southpaws where it might, you know, what I'm saying, he might be comfortable with him. It's not mm-hmm. as much as a, a, a shocker to a guy who is not comfortable with mm-hmm. Southpaws. So um, the experience, the experience can be can be played out in different ways to 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 Mikey's benefit man it's a, it's a, you know the fight can go anywhere it can go deep waters it can be short it can be a long night you know it can championship rounds it can we, we, you, you never know how it's going to play out but um you just going to need a little bit of everything and eh? like i say we could talk about this fight and bring yeah, exactly. snatch perspectives <laughs> out of the goddamn Anywhere, yeah. but like we could take from history, you know what I mean? Yeah, and dude, apply it yeah, to this, man, and with every time it's, to, man, and man. that's what makes boxing so different. Like every single fight is different. Like you never, you never can have fights where they're exactly alike. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Like it's Absolutely. always something different. Like we could say it's going to be like this fight, but there's always going to be that one little thing that's going to make one, it different. One little thing different, and that's the that's the the interesting part that. I mean, fight. Yeah, it was something like that, but this happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they, they're mm-hmm. similar, but they're different. You know, and um, this is probably gonna be one for the books, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, however it plays out, you yeah. know, because it, it, I, I can't see it not being an interesting fight. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't, it's- I can't see spots where you're cheering for Mikey Garcia 
and other spots where you cheer for Earl Spence. It's it's I just see it being mm-hmm. that type of fight until you know somebody folds. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like that because yeah, like I mean, Mikey, he's not just gonna get walked over, man. He's not it. You don't die. I don't man. think he's gonna right. get no. I, like I said, like a lot of people when they put it out there that you know he's gonna fall, like he's not gonna fall in the first round because. There was somebody saying that it might go like Tommy Hearns and Roberto Duran, but you know, Tommy Hearns, he was that one hitter quitter. Yeah. You know, and I mean, Roberto Duran, he's got a, he's known for a good chin, but he was knocked out in the second round because that's how hard he hits, you yeah. know. But like when you're yeah. talking about Errol and, and, and Mikey, it's a little bit more balanced here, you know. Yeah. I and think then, as far as like what Mikey kind of brings, he's not going to go in there taking too many chances. That's what I'm saying. Know? I don't see him in ch- getting into an exchange like the Hitman and Duran. You know, that was, yeah. was Duran's style. You know learned, what I mean? Again, each generation learns from it. You know hey, what I'm saying? They're not going to take those crazy chances. You no. Know? And then he was just type of guy that he seemed like you could get him mad in the ring. Roberto Duran. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get... Yeah. Oh, you good? Yeah. <laughs> so what you say, man? You said Durant, he's the kind. Of, I don't think Mike could get mad like no, that. No, that's right? what I'm saying. You <laughs> yeah. know, Durant was just like a nasty yeah. guy. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? So, you know, Hitman started busting him up. He, oh, I'm, you know, mm-hmm. and, and he, he got, got laid out. out so, like, yeah. Fucking cold cop. Yeah, so there's a lot of ways to just play out, man. Yeah. And, um, you know, go and go, the more and more we get into it, it's just like, we can only say what we can say, man. You know, right. we, we just right. got to see what happens. But it's not going to be a d- definitive answer. It's not you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because because everybody keeps looking for one until fight night. Until fight night. You know. You know, and that's the thing about boxing. It's kind of annoying about it because everybody, you know, it's a million ways to look at it until mm-hmm. that one night. You know what until I mean? Until the one night. You right? know, and it's going to be a few people that was right. You know, like. Every time something happens, there's somebody somewhere, right? You know what I'm yeah. saying? So some people are going to have it, but it is a roll of the dice, and, and you really won't know until, you know, come fight night. Like I said, I mean, guys are healthy and happy right now. Fight night, that all could change. Like I said, I mean, people, people, fighters have had food poisoning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything. Yeah. I mean, you have to yeah. eat every day. You got to eat it, and that might be that one That meal might be that sit, bad yeah, meal, you know what I mean? Down. So it's just like. Dude, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, just come on Saturday night, man. I That's mean, what I'm saying. Yeah, man. I just really, you know. Yeah, for that real, man. It. But like this, man, like another question, man. What is, uh, what do you feel like the win for Mikey's going to, what does the win for Mikey do over, over Earl Spence? What is that win? What's the win going to do for him, man? And vice versa. All right. Well, I had a kind of question. I'm going to go ahead and intertwine that in and kind of feed it back to you, but. A win for you said a win for Mikey or a win for Earl? We'll go with Mikey first. Answer that. Okay, a win for Mikey. Because yeah, you said uh, if he pulls off, would he be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's um. That? Mm-hmm. To me, a win for Mikey would be like astronomical, and it would it would really put him up there in those talks of pound for pound. I mean, and how could you dispute a guy? A smaller guy coming up two weight classes and beat the guy that nobody wanted to fight to even see who was number one. Can't really dispute that, eh? No. They said you can't really dispute that, man. And um, so you know, if 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 Mikey was able to pull off the upset, it would be it it it, it, it would really be um a big thing. It would do wonders for us, you know, his career. Not that his career is bad now, but it really would put some add some zeros to. Them checks, I think, and and um, really just put him put him out there, maybe where he wants to be. I don't know, maybe he wants to be out there more. He's on Ellie every day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know, yeah. maybe maybe he wants to more exposure, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But on the flip side, you know, for Earl Spence is just looking from from I me mean, bringing this this angle to the table is dangerous for him, man. It's real dangerous. It's is is. It, it's no win for him, really. If he wins, it was a small guy. That's what you're supposed to do. He came up to weight classes. You know, if you beat him and don't look impressive, this guy, the small guy took you 12 rounds, took you eight mm-hmm. rounds to get him out. It did this. It did mm-hmm. this. It's just everything about it is bad for Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then the ultimate, if he loses, it's just like you kind of was a hype job. You kind of, I mean, I know you don't like to use that, but you were falling to that. Exposed realm to me because 
You was just a boogeyman. Mm -hmm. You was just a boogeyman. Right. How do you go from the boogeyman to the cookie monster? You know what I'm saying? I mean, so um, it's just it's it's all bad on Mm -hmm. the business side for Earl Spence. Okay, so if we look at like with the hardcore fans and we all know as far as what Mikey's bringing to the table and everybody's saying he's this four division world champion and Errol Spence beats him. You don't think that's going to give him any stock then? Like, it, it, I mean, everybody's kind of using that against him now. I mean, they're using it in favor of Mikey. Like exactly. if Mikey wins, he's a multi-division exactly. world pound for pound champion. That's right. that, that, if Spence beats a potential pound for pound champion, how come it's not in his favor then? Because the same way with like, if he beats Crawford, you know, Crawford, Moved up. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it's just the thing that looking at it, the fight just looks like a mismatch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You just see these two guys without even looking at the paperwork or anything. It just looks like a fight that, of course, the, of course the guy on the left one. Look at him. He's towering right. over. You know what I'm saying? Right. In that aspect of it. Of course... If Earl Spence was to go in here and completely dominate and 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 run through Mikey, it is going to be some feathers in his hat. But I'm just saying mm-hmm. it will be the people to say, you're going to have those people too to yeah. say, yo, he was small. Mm-hmm. He was this. I mean, you can't deny that. Yeah, he's a four-time world champion. You knocked him out in three rounds. I mean, we, we, we right. can't deny that even though he was a smaller guy. Mm-hmm. I didn't make him get in the ring. But it's kind of like, I mean, Lomachenko don't really get – a lot of props for, for, for rigging the out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I kind of forget that he beat him. You know what I'm saying? That's not the gotcha. name to get mentioned yeah. when you talk about Lomachenko necessarily. You know what I mean? So, um, But then again, like Mikey got more accomplishments than Rigo, right? So, I mean, that would kind of be bigger for Arrow versus uh, whenever Loma beat Rigo. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, yeah. But like as far as experience, you know, Rigo still has like some legendary mm-hmm. status in the game, you know, mm-hmm. all, all these amateur fights, the gold medals and stuff like that. I mean, Loma beat him. It did something for him, but it still didn't really make me feel like, oh, yo, you, you, you the truth, because you be the guy that was smaller. smaller you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's kind of, you know, it's going to be something in there for Earl Spence, and, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be like beating Earl Terrence Crawford. It's not going to be like mm-hmm. beating one of the legit guys at welterweight just because mm-hmm. we know these guys are close to your size okay and, and you know, i ask that because i always feel like people you know a lot of the casual fans they forget that um you know Hagler he beat duran and he gets a lot of credit for that you know duran he was a small guy you know he yeah. came up from the lighter weight same with yeah. hearns he knocked out a smaller guy and he was long tall and it all looked like a mismatch but he gave you know he did give uh but, Hagler a tough fight but you know what i mean like when people look back on it, they give him that credit for those fights. Now I'm kind of saying like, but when you, you know got what? a three three division world champion, why wouldn't it be a big win for Earl? The reason that, you know, to me, in my opinion, that Roberto, I mean, Marvin Hagler got probably, because Roberto Hagler was such a nasty guy. And so whenever he got his ass whipped, people were happy to see that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not gonna be the same. People don't. People are not waiting to see Earl Spence get his ass. But people are not waiting to see him because neither one of these guys have mm-hmm. that type of, you know, personality. You know, kind of going into the fight. That's the thing too. It's like it, it is mutual respect there. This is not like full on war. These mm-hmm. guys hate each other. Where, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll be a it, it'll be a mutual respect. And I mean, I, I feel like that. Ed. He mm-hmm. he will get some accolades, but it's going to be people on the other side. I mean, mm-hmm. to say he don't deserve them, you know, they're going to bring that up. We can't deny that. We can't help it. I mean, that is what it is. But people will play both sides of that. They're going to say, yeah, you know, oh, he gets it. That was a full time world champion. He, you know, be the experienced guy. But guys will say uh, he was smaller too. You know, that's how every fight goes. Mm-hmm. Every Floyd Mayweather prime example. Every fight he had, you had people, people want to see him yeah, lose. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, but you had people who said, yo, that was a masterpiece. And you had guys, mm-hmm. oh, he was smaller. Yeah. He was old. He was people. You know, so it's always going to be those those both sides. You know of how people look at it, but like when people say that to me, oh, he was smaller, but okay, it was Juan Mo- Juan Lopez mm-hmm. was a top ten fighter, world class. You know what I'm yeah, saying? World class right, guy. Right. That's mm-hmm. the difference. You know yeah, what I'm exactly, saying? That is right. the difference. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's not just a guy that's smaller that nobody knows. That's not you know worthy of being in there with me. So 
You know what I'm saying? Um, but like, you know, guys with those nasty personalities, and they just they 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 they, they get it hard in the game because that bad personality is just when you lose, people people love that, yeah. right? Because like when I'm looking, we we all looking about when we watching a fight, we we looking at it skill for skill. But like the the average fan, whenever he's hearing the mouth, the mouth is what he's mostly faced on, exactly. so he's not looking at the skill. So he's exactly. mostly bigging that win up. Off, cause I ain't like that person. Exactly. You know what I mean? Think about Roberto Duran. If we was back during that time when he in the press conference with Sugar Ray and he grabbing his dick at Sugar Ray Leonard's wife. Sugar Ray Leonard is the most charismatic, down to earth, humble fighter out, and this man is just. Well, you think people want to is cheering for him? It, it, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. They say you know mm-hmm. you ain't got no tech, you ain't got no clash. Mm-hmm. We Sugar go in there and knock his head off. You know that's why I say you do got to be careful that the role you play because I mean it, it does it does the fact is yeah, in how. Fact is in how you're given status in the game. Yeah, you know, absolutely. still factors absolutely. in. Factors absolutely. in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So with these two, like the way they both saying kind of quiet, it's just kind of like made a best man win. That's that's deal, you that's know? all it is. And, it, it's, that, it's, and I'm glad it's like it because now we just talking skill. We're not talking about oh he out here on TMZ slapping people absolutely. up. But you know what I mean? We can I, actually look absolutely. at it and dissect yeah. it, you know? Absolutely. It's that's the way I say it. Made the best man win. I mm-hmm. you know, because that's really what's it's going to boil down to, but that's the way it is. I mean, these guys, is, I don't have negative energy towards either guy. Mm-hmm. I like both guys. Both guys are worthy. They, they, you know, world-class guys. Made the best man win. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Made All the best day. man win. You know what I mean? I really don't have a stake in it either way, but, you know, it's just a very interesting fight. It's, 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 it's for, To me, and I just see, like Earl Spence is just like mind his business and this little Chihuahua just won't won't stop biting at his ankle. He won't. He keep kicking him away. He kicking him away. Look, man, go away. He won't. He won't go away. And then finally, and then, he gotta. Then when you go boom, when you get that, you know he gonna fly. Yeah. He gotta. You gotta put him you know in his place. Yeah. He he gotta yeah. go down and 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 handle this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know he don't want to. He don't want to. But the dude, the dog just won't leave him alone. So okay. um, saying that we get. Uh, Getting getting close to our prediction here. Does Spence need a KO to win? Do you feel like he needs to knock Mikey out since you put it like that? You got this little dog biting at him. Got to put him on his ass. Spence, no. I mean, a dominant performance is going to be enough. I mean, it's already like the judges are probably going to be kind of just swayed and um, swayed in that direction because it's I mean he's a favorite everybody's you know anything he lands people gonna be like oh wow oh he's hurt mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so it's gonna be a lot of that or whatever but honestly for me I mean I, like earlier I said I compared it to the Rigo and, and, and Loma cause I could just see maybe the corner throwing it in you know what I'm saying that's the only way I see it yeah, stop, you know, like, cause I see, I see maybe, his heart getting I, yeah, you know, he ain't his gonna quit. Bigger heart yeah, he cause he's taking this fight and you know Robert Garcia and them in the beginning they were already saying like they didn't want him in this absolutely. fight you know? absolutely yeah. absolutely that's how I'm I'm yeah. kinda seeing it you know um so I don't know man but like I say may the best man win you know I, I, I like both guys um if 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 you know, the thing is, like you say, Ant, you know, you know Her- 30 minutes. OK, can, yeah. yeah. Earl Spence, he's definitely. If he pulls, you know, not if he pulls this off, but if he, you know, if he wins this fight, there's definitely feathers in this cap and definitely a name on his resume. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when you look at the Mikey Garcia, it's just like David and Goliath. You know, the David and Goliath, everybody's on David's side and it's just. Mm-hmm. It, it, you know, I mean, I've yeah. always been the smaller guy. Yeah, when so, you, you know, yeah, when you fight yeah, impossible, you going yeah, against up the, yeah. all the odds. Mm-hmm. It's just like it's hard not to want to root for this kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh man, he nobody else wanted to fight mm-hmm. Goliath and yeah. David came in. Yeah. Little David, yeah. little David came in here. Little David gonna fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's so many dynamics to how you view the sport too, man. You know what I'm saying? Just something like that. The little guys probably pulling for Mikey because they've mm-hmm. been a little guy their whole life yeah. and know how it is mm-hmm. and. Earl Spence, like you just said earlier, he's called a boogeyman. A lot of people will equate that to bully. Mm-hmm. A boogeyman is a bully. So small guys have always, not, not, I, I, I can't say that, but probably have encountered some of that, you know, being a smaller guy, always having to prove themselves and people wanting to test them or whatever. So, you know, it's a lot of dynamics to play mm-hmm. into how people, you know, might, might want to 
who they might be fans of in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Of, right. You know, I mean, right. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the actual personal experience of mine is like my dad. That's one of his favorite things. Man, I'm, I've always been a little guy, man. I, I couldn't, mm-hmm. nothing better than me watching the boxing man see, mm-hmm. seeing a little, little mm-hmm. brother knock a big, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, that, yeah. that, 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 that's his line right there. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of psych, psychology behind that too, man. You know what I mean? And, you know, and then, I mean, like I say, back to David and Goliath, you know what I mean? Just seeing the, the, the little guy beat the big guy. It's just always something exciting to see Mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah it is like because everybody feels like life is like this big challenge you know so they're always the one looking up at the big the goals you know big challenge yeah i can see that definitely man um yeah i think for me like just seeing a solid performance out of both guys you know as tough as both of these guys are doesn't mean the fight you know uh First of all, if I say the fight's not going to end in knockout because the guy's smaller, you know, these guys are tough enough to last 12 rounds, right. you know, because even looking at go, like I said, Ward Kovalev, people thought he was not Ward out, you know, but mm-hmm. that fight went 12, you know, right. and I feel like this, this could be the same way. Both of these guys are taking the challenge, you know, yeah. they're doing something nobody else wants to do. And I feel like it could go 12, but Spence doesn't really need a knockout. He needs to look. Good. good same with mikey mikey got mikey can't go 12 with a controversial decision you know he can't go controversial decision with a black eye looking beat up because then people be like you put yourself through this war and they're gonna say now you probably lost a little something so you can't go back down yeah. you might mess yourself up so both of these guys just need a definitive win you know yeah and 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 speaking on that note Aunt, because um Boxing sometimes can be very, very frustrating to me. You know, every week it's a robbery. Every week it's a robbery, and I don't feel like debating, going back and forth with what a person might have seen or not have seen about something this close that people could have very well seen different things. Yeah, I need to see more dominant performances, and we need to see more either up the rounds to a, a odd number. Or we need we need fighters to be more dominant and more definitive in the ring. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I say, I mean Floyd Mayweather say what you want to say, but 50 fights he always found a way to win. He wasn't a knockout artist. He wasn't a, necessarily a crowd favorite. I mean, but he always found a way to win because scoring points is win. You know, scoring mm-hmm. point is is that's the name of the game. So it's just like fighters really have to step on the gas and put on some more dominant performances because all these close fights are, are really starting to be bad for, for the fans. And every week it's a robbery. Every week mm-hmm. people saying robbery. You know what I mean? I mean, and they very, very well may, may feel that way, but it's just irritating because we just want to clear winner. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We want to walk away where winner. we saw somebody actually look the better part that night. Yeah, look the better part that night. And we confident in that. You know what I'm saying? We confident in that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We confident in that. So, I mean, that, you know, the last few years, we definitely been having our our, our, our taste of, you know, these close fights and, you know, the boxing world is divided. And it's it's annoying, man. You know what I'm saying? It's annoying to me. I'm not that that, that odd round. Yeah, that odd round might be something need to be done. Yeah, man. uh, Shout out to Shelly Vincent. though. Like, I asked her if she wanted... 15 rounds, she was like, hell no. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> maybe like 11 or 13. That's what I'm saying. Like it could go down. Yeah, you yeah. can go down. It ain't got to go up. But that yeah. uh, number would at least give us a, a, another lane for stuff to be. Even. Uh, cut, you know, uh, cut, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight clean, forward. Clean, clean cut you know what wins. You yeah. So, um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just saying. But, um, you know, I'm just boxing in there in a little bit but it's all good but it is frustrating though, he's shaking know? his cane at me but he's like this is crazy, we, need to, we need to go back to the old day you know? <laughs> man, something, man. Every, yeah. week, every week that's annoying every week robbery every week it's, I know, a robbery, yeah, it, it's like we got these guys in here okay man like fighting 12 rounds when, when i look at it too because now when i'm always breaking fights i'm saying okay the first half is six rounds Oh man, there's a, you know it's like a seesaw battle. And then when you go in that last half, it's another six another rounds. Seesaw like, battle. Then when you, know you when you do the math, six to six, you know it's a draw. That ain't that you know that it's, ain't cutting it's, it. You it's, know? It's, a, it's annoying, man. It that and guys, they just need to start taking charge in the fight. You yeah, know what I mean? Like like you charge, said, yeah, Floyd you know. ain't knocking you out, but he's winning. You know? Yeah, he's winning. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So um, you know, 
it's it, it is what it is. We we, we you know we there's no disrespect to nobody, but you know just as a fan, you know like you said, we want to walk away, be entertained, and be like, hey, this one not always. I mean, think and this people get it's fans getting into fights because of these fights. You know what I'm saying? That, in the that's, crowd, that's you know crazy. what I mean? Remember the Triple G? Yeah, fight. people actually getting into brawls because these Jeez. fights are so close. And Man. I mean, it's it's insane. But um, dude thought he was Triple G in the damn crowd. He started swinging that dude, laid him out. I was like, yes, yeah. yes out. <laughs> and that's where it get dangerous at because you drunk, you can just finish watching the fight. Of course, mm-hmm. you think you Canelo. You think you Canelo <laughs> and Triple G combined. Of course, you think that. And then you get a wake up call. Some damn smell of salt, <laughs> sir, sir. How many fingers do you see? You know what oh, I'm saying. Man. So I'm that's, just saying, man, it's annoying. It is, man. That, okay. But you know, with that being said, we, we like we said, we we want to see a clear winner. We want to walk away satisfied, man. With that being said, what's your prediction Saturday night, man? My prediction for Saturday night, man. Um, like I say, I'm not invested in in either fighter. Um, and I'm gonna just call it like I see it, man. I see just I see Earl Spence by 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 stoppage. I mean. Six, seven, eight rounds, you know, somewhere in there. I just see, I mean, stoppage from the ref. Mm-hmm. Or from One of the things you brought corner. up, what do you think, the, uh, how do you think that experience is going to factor into the fight, like, early on? Like, do you think it's going to play a big part? Now, I think the experience probably will play out better in the in the later rounds, you know, you get them in those in the deep waters in the championship rounds and that's when, you know, you can really see what's in the tank and, and, and show some of that experience that, that, that you have, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Early in the fight he's just gonna have to try not to eat too many shots, and that's gonna that's gonna yeah. be his main thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, uh, to me, you know what I'm saying? I mean he cannot, I don't care how tough his chin is, he cannot sit in there and eat shots from Rose Spence. To, to, to the head or to the body, the body yeah definitely not the body you know and he takes body shots and his body not really looking tight all the time so that's not something he gonna want to do either eh? yeah in my opinion you know I agree with that because remember we was talking about Lamont Peterson's workout he came in with the rip dabs and everything we saw how Spence did, what Spence did to his body yeah. you know just broke him down yeah shattered him yeah he came in, like you say, with the solid core, the ripped up core. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 and experience, eh? Mm-hmm. And experience, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would have liked to see maybe him catch a, a younger Peterson, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I really mm-hmm. feel like Peterson, you know, he's been in so many wars, he's seen better days, but um, he definitely was an experienced fighter. And he definitely, you know, had a solid core. You know, yeah, he what, definitely. You know he's, I mean? he's always been, you know, got to come in, you know, in shape. In shape you know? Yeah. So okay, so you say he spins by early uh, I think late stoppage. Yeah, the, by, 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 like I said, between six and eight, between six round six and eight, round okay. eight, some type of stoppage, TKO, or you know, corner mm-hmm. throws in the towel for him. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, I think for me, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go with probably first round knockout. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, <laughs> I ain't going to be greedy like that. But I think you'll probably stop him in maybe like the sixth round or something. Six. Stop Mikey. If 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 he's able to touch him over and over, because I don't think, man, he could take them shots, man, to the body, man. If he if he breaks him down, I think he could get him out of his six. But if Mikey has that experience like he claims he do, I think he could take it. I think he could take it to the later rounds. What you think about Mikey Jab, though? Mikey got a, Mikey got got a, a good jab. jab. He got a saying. good jab. Got a good jab. Mikey has a good jab, and Earl is kind of known sometimes to be on the line, and he got to move that head. So tonight's the night where he going to have to move that so, head. So that's what I'm saying. It, it, you know, at the end of the day, made the best man win. Uh, you know, my prediction is solely coming from just just the boxing math, and mm-hmm. you know, what I mean. It, it, if I go on my, 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 my heart, I want to pull for the underdog, and I want to pull for the guy who got the balls to do something like this, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But I'm just going from on the math, and, um, you know, it just looked like it, you know, it probably wound up, you know, getting stopped at some point in time, you know, but... um Yeah, I see that way, like, it ain't going to be Mikey quitting. It's going to be, like you said, like I said, to the corner. 
Yeah. You know, either the corner or the referee going to see enough. Yeah, yeah, see enough, you know. Because the thing about it, ain't, people got to factor this in, too. To who benefit would it be for him to just sit in there and take punishment all night long? Man? That's stupid. Right. You know, right now, he could, you know, count his losses mm-hmm. and fight another day. Right. You know what I'm saying? But for, for anybody to sit back and watch him get punished for 12 rounds just to say that he went 12 rounds. That's with, what I'm saying. You know, despite, he might not win. Oh, no, you better not stop it. You no. Know, That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, stopped. let's say he reacts to every single shot. You know what I mean? Like, where he just is on queer street every time he get tagged like that's when you got to stop it you know you just can't keep saying oh i got to keep going don't stop it you know like when you see your fighter in there hurt off of one shot each round and he can't take one shot or or just even in a bad situation man i mean you know earl spence he get hot he teeing off on you and you eating three four of them solid shots i mean i mean we we don't don't know what shot causes the damage so you know Anybody seeing Mike Gosman, he's a young guy. He got a hell of a career ahead of him yeah. with a loss, mm-hmm. you know, Saturday night still. Why would you let him go in there? Why, why, why would you Why would you shelve a good fighter? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's yeah. what could happen. You yeah, know that, what I'm that's saying? That's what could happen, yeah. All in all, man, like, when we look at it like that, it's, it's saying, why, why? That's yeah, the main it, question. It would be why? pointless now. Like, if he's even, in there winning, yeah, that's different. That's different, yeah. If he's winning, he's it, we're seeing some little glimpses or mm-hmm. something, that's different. But mm-hmm. if you're not seeing mm-hmm. nothing, then it's like, I mean, what's the point? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that's what will happen, you know, with Robert and, you know, the family around. They're not going to sit back and just. Nah, they can't. Cause you know like, what I'm saying? Robert, he already had that in his mind state. Like, you know, no, nah, we're not going to let him take unnecessary punishment. Absolutely. You know? So it's like, we, we you know, this is this is family, you know? Yeah. So what do you think? Is it really, man, we look at this fight, like the risk is just as big as reward, man. But it's like, do you got enough to really get that reward, man? Cause yeah. like, well, every time we talk about it now, like if you lose, man, like you get beat to the point where it could mess you up for other fights, you know? Right. That's why I want to see Mike be able to have some skill in this fight to not get hurt like that. Like, I don't want to see anybody get yeah, put out like that. That's you what I'm know? saying. It kind of suck. It just spit me back into the Rigging D.I. and Loma fight, though, because it's like, damn, I mean. But but the thing, I can't go on that because it'd be one thing if, if, if Rigging Rig D.I. was Rick, busted up and yeah, that's we didn't see say. no nah, damage, you know what I'm his saying? more mental, you know, yeah. like a mental break. Cause like, and being older. And being older, know, yeah. yeah. It yeah. wasn't really like he walked out of there getting beat down. Yeah, the you punishment. Know? The punishment didn't really, yeah. Because yeah. uh, Virgil Hunter, he actually made a good point on that. He was like, when I saw that fight, he was like, I didn't see Rigging Dow really hurt, you know? He was, like, I, he was like, I didn't see anything in there where it made me say, like, he was really, like, oh, man, he getting beat with Nothing Nothing stopped. worthy of quitting. I mean, but kind of same thing with the Nick Walters. I mean, Nick Walters, I mean, yeah. he's doing some stuff, but not enough to make a world champion. Just, Quit? Yeah, come on, bro. Shit, man. That's crazy, bro. But, like, in this type of fight here, this matchup, it's like, the way we make it seems a lot of people seeing one sided. It, it's just like a lot of risk factor, man. Yeah. For a smaller guy, like I said, I don't really like to use risk, but there is risk whenever you ain't been there before, you know. Yeah, and 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 when when you in there with a guy who, like you say, and you know, you know, from your words, be changing guys after he fight them. I mean, this is not just a guy with power, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a guy with power who knows how to use it. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, um, you know, when you put it like that, it's just like, why? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? See, whenever you fight Floyd, you go to school, you know, you come home, you all right. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gonna get to You have a couple bad. whips on yeah. you. You know when what I'm you saying? Go, when you go to fight Spence, you go into the meat shop, you go yeah. into the meat grind. <laughs> you want a special leg class after that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, I was just saying. Yeah, man. But, yeah, man, like, that's my call. That's your call. You say, like, 67. Yeah, stoppage. 6, 7, 8, yeah, gotcha. somewhere in the middle rounds, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got I, first I, round I knockout. No, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm going with, like, 6, yeah, 5 or man. 6. You know what I mean? And like I say, and I would love to see something special happen. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But, I mean, Saturday night, we'll see. But it's just looking, it's, 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 it's. If it happens, it's going to be special, man, because it's a lot to pull off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 He definitely got a lot of work. His work cut out for him, bro. But yeah, man, uh, before we wrap this thing up, man, anything else you want to say in closing, bro? Um, no, man. Just like I say, man, um, 
I'm lit this weekend, man. I'm I'm all Friday. It's my birthday. You know, we got this fight. So I have my fight party jumping off. You know, just me, myself, and I. That's you know how that's, that's so, how I go down, man. You know what I'm saying? It's it's I, th- th- this is an ideal weekend for me. I'm good. You know, I don't I don't really need all the extras. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, see, this type of fights we really do need because it's like it's only one fight and we jump off. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like a whole bunch to balance it out. I mean, that's good too. But I mean, we got this one fight bringing a lot of energy, man. You know, a lot of people out there want to see this. Absolutely, man. that's the power of a uh, a boxing man. I mean. You get the right two people, man, and it just have everybody talking, mm-hmm. everybody, and it's like, it, it's fascinating and irritating at the same time, man, because it's like, you know, we do this every day, no matter what, and then, you know, when something like this happens, then you got people talking, yeah, man, because um, Earl Garcia, man, he's, re- he's really good, man, He's you know what I'm saying, you got to deal with yeah. all that nonsense, you know yeah. what I'm saying, so Earl, what? Yeah, they'd be like, I heard... Mike, Mikey Tyson be knocking people yes. out. You know, he, you know what I mean? They just all messed up. They be messing it up. But yeah, man. Um, before I will wrap this up too, man. I did say uh, I looked at the Porter Ugas fight again. You know, just just to look at it. Now, yeah. I feel like it was a close fight, man. I don't really feel like a lot. Like a lot of people were saying it was robbery. Did you? I mean, it it, it, it wasn't what I wanted to see from Porter or no, Ugas. Uh, so. And when when people when my definition of robbery is like an obvious, was it was a very close fight, and that's just kind of just what I was talking about. That I'm sick of the word robbery, and I'm kind of sick of close fights, man. People got to know how to mm-hmm. take a close fight and step on the gas. I mean, something like Sugar Ray Leonard did with 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 Marvin Hagler, you know, uh-huh. stealing the yeah, yeah. Man, stealing the last ten seconds mm-hmm. of the round. I mean, that's strategy. That's you got to do something to. To, to push off, you know what I'm to saying? Push out if of it's that, close, yeah. When you're here, you gotta go in. Yeah, you gotta do something if the last minute just hit the gas <laughs> and just to accelerate a little bit. You know, I know it's easier said than done, guys, but you but know, there's we, gotta be moments because, yeah, like, are, like you said, this this case, like, it wasn't a robbery. Like, we can't blame the judge. We were mad at the fighters because they didn't take they didn't take charge. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. So neither one could really get mad and say, "Oh man, I felt I did enough," but you know, you must didn't. You must didn't, man. You know, but yeah, man. Hopefully, we won't get that this weekend, man. I doubt it. <laughs> you know, so before we wrap this thing up, like always, Pete. Y'all can follow me on my personal Instagram, P Barn Hill. Just you know, my personal stuff. You know, life, everyday, family. You know, and then you can check us up, check me out on Loud Pack Boxing. You know, just for a little bit more exclusive side of uh you know boxing peace and where i'm from what i'm about and some of the things i'm into and you know you can always check us out on instagram at the jab effect you know dot com and and um that's it right at yeah, jab effect we jab effect not jab effect.com but the jab effect on instagram y'all can check us both out yeah. on there so you know what it is y'all also you know jab effect on facebook so. facebook absolutely yep. yeah definitely shout out to facebook on um i mean shout out to you know all the facebook followers too man they really supportive and really um be helping the page grow you know what i'm saying being interactive so we see y'all we appreciate it yeah definitely man i appreciate that but yeah, y'all can follow me at Combo Breaker 99 on Instagram as well as All Box and Everything on Instagram and on YouTube, you know, talking about some women fights and MMA and just a little bit more boxing, you know, just going in on some YouTube stuff. But yeah, make sure y'all subscribe there. And like always, you know, you can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Spotify. And we everywhere, bro. I say that at the end every time. <laughs> But yeah, man, we about to wrap this up because we getting hyped for this fight. I'm Combo Breaker 99. It's your boy Boxing P, y'all. We'll see you after the fight. Later. Peace.